you try and say, oh, I love going to work every day, then you're a proper sausage. A proper sausage right here, boys. Put him on a skillet because it's one of the best sentences in MMA. Patty the Batty fights this weekend and cannot wait for his 0-2 return fight against the Monkey King, who at 10-1 and one is looking pretty nice. I mean, he's uh, kind of eclectic, right? He's an interesting character for sure, and kind of appreciate Monkey King because he's bringing an angle to the sport that I feel like no other guy is bringing. And I don't quite know how to describe that angle, but uh, it's unique to, to uh, say the least, and he's been looking pretty good, right? He's 3-1. and one. Most impressively, I thought was that beautiful slam KO that he had over the uh, veteran Matt Wyman. It was within the first 20 seconds. He picked him up, slammed him on his dome. Pretty brutal, uh, yet technical in the same regard. And just very impressive stuff from the Monkey King. And he's 10-1, and one, that lone blemish coming to Claudio Puelas, who is looking pretty nice. I mean, Claudio keeps getting better every single fight. And he's finishing a lot of guys too, whereas Monkey King was able to go the distance with him. So at 10-1. and one, 3-1 and one in the UFC, and a very well-rounded skill set. Curious to see how it matches up against Patty the Batty, because he's obviously going to have the hype. He's going to have the hometown crowd getting absolutely lit for him. I mean, even though he's third from the top, Patty the Batty is essentially the main event. I mean, if he's fighting in, in England, uh, he's going to be getting the biggest pop for sure, and I'm just very excited to see what he looks like against a pretty formidable opponent, because while Patty has been looking nice in the UFC so far, he's 2-0. He spot two bums, right? Luigi Ven Bamini and Rodrigo Cazula Vargas, who, I mean, those guys just aren't very good. Whereas Monkey King, I think, is a little bit better than people are giving him credit for. So what are your thoughts on this one? Is Patty the Batty going to get that 19th win and cash as a about minus 250 favorite? Or do you think there's some serious value in the near 2-1, to one, almost 3-1 to one dog range for the Monkey King? Who you got? No, uh, 100%. I think those Monkey King odds look extra juicy. I mean, we've seen Patty lose. This isn't like something, you know, oh, it's all not possible, especially the levels test he's had so far, and the UFC is basically zero. So this is the first big levels test, Um, you know, just to get, like, to that top 20, top 30 spot, because right now Patty's at the low of the low, to be honest. Uh, But... I think Monkey King gets it done. I think he's just going to be the the better fighter all around, uh, the more craftier one. You know, I do worry about maybe the strength. And Patty might have the strength, but look at Jordan's last few fights. Guys that are way bigger than him, and he still holds his own. He wins, uh, or you know, just that one loss. Very still close, competitive. Like, and that guy, like you said, he's finishing everybody else. So that shows you know how good Jordan is. And uh, I just don't see how Patty's going to get it done. I'm sorry. Like they're saying, oh, he's going to knock him out. But Patty's not even a striker. Everyone thinks he's a striker. He's a grappler. But I don't think his grappling is going to be as good as Jordan Levitt. Yeah, good stuff. That's what I'm most interested to see. Like, who does have the grappling advantage in this one? Because both these dudes are serious when it comes to the groundwork. And similarly, when it's on the feet, who will have the advantage there? Because you're right, a lot of people point to Patty as being like this elite striker. And obviously, he is pretty competent on the feet, but... He really does his slick handiwork on the mat, so I'm just very curious to see what this fight looks like wherever it is, because Patty does have some KO finishes, but again, he's more of a submission threat, I would think. So I was interested to note that, you know, 77% of Tapology is rolling with Patty the Batty. There is a lot of brown roll with that KO, though, so they think he's going to shut the lights off of the Monkey King, whereas of the 23% that's rolling with the Monkey King, majority of it is copper for that sub, so... Seems as though a lot of people in Tapology are thinking that a finish in some way is going to happen. Are you bullish on that, or is there any chance this fight goes the distance? Um, I think there could be a finish on Jordan's side. Uh, I could see him getting the ground and pound TKO. Um, I don't know if he'd finish him. That'd be very impressive, though, because Patty is a high-level grappler. Um, but I think the Monkey Kings are just on a whole other level. I'm sorry, you know. Uh, and how I look at it is... I don't think Patty would survive with uh, Puelos like Jordan Levitt did. That's how I look at it. It's like Jordan Levitt survived that fight and actually was competitive. I just don't see Patty coming close on that matchup. So I know MMA math isn't really a thing, but Jordan, I think, is just on a whole other level compared to Patty the Batty. Which sucks to say because I like Patty the Batty. I think he brings amazing energy, like Connor level stuff where everyone is going to watch. It doesn't matter who you are, you're watching Patty. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's a legitimate superstar, even though he's only had, you know, two fights in the UFC so far. And, you know, you, you made the point about, you know, what would Patty versus Claudio Puelas look uh, look like? I don't know. I, I kind of uh, am with you that he might not win that fight. But 
again, 60% of the time, MMA math works all the time. So really tough to uh, attach too, too much to that for sure. But in this one meet, I'm going to roll with Patty the Batty. I wouldn't say it's, you know, the most confident pick of my life. I mean, we meat locked Patty previously. So the fact that we're not meat locking Patty here uh, suggests our respect levels for Jordan Levitt. And the odds have even narrowed a lot, right? Patty was closer to minus 400. Now he's a little bit, you know, closer to minus 250. So a lot of sharps are coming in with that Monkey King hammer. And uh, deservedly so, because I honestly thought this should be more of a pick em, But you know, a lot of people are going to be hammering Patty the Batty because it's Patty the Batty. And, uh, you know, everyone wants to uh, hammer the Scouser for sure. But in this one, I'm going to roll Patty. I'm actually going to go decision. I think it's going to be gritty. I think it's going to be close. I think it's going to be very tough, maybe even a split decision. But uh, I have a feeling that Patty will have that strength advantage like you touched on. And if he's able to just sort of piece him up on the feet a little bit, maybe get a takedown and just kind of control him down there. If he, again, has that strength advantage, then I like him to be able to eke out a decision. But either way, I'm just stoked for this contest. And whoever gets the W, it's going to be funny, right? We're going to have Patty getting hype, uh, jumping on the cage. You know, you know, obviously uh, the whole place is going to explode or we're going to have Jordan Levitt twerking on his dead body like he mentioned. So either way, it's going to be hype for my book. Any last thoughts? 100%. Can't wait. This is going to be an absolute banger. Throw in the comments you got Patty the Batty or the Monkey King.